It's quarter to eight, Mark. There's not a light on the place. That makes no sense if they were here. If you want to go knock, go oh, ahead. No, so this is very embarrassing, but like I say, what choice do we have? Just take your little map, say, you know, we're here because of this. Burgers from Missouri. Sorry to bother you, but we're looking for some prairie chickens, and we got lost. <laughs> well, uh, where where are you? <laughs> where are we? We're in that truck right there. What'd you find out, Mark? We are in the right spot, right? We're in the right spot. But, okay. But there's One, no, there's no blind out there. The blind's been gone for a while. Oh. Two, they haven't they haven't seen prairie chickens for a long time. Three, he thinks there's a spot. There's a windmill, and he says there's a ridge beyond the windmill. There's nothing on it. I don't know. I just always remember us being friends. Um, we were so close in junior high school that we would either spend probably two out of seven nights a week, either I was at his house or he was at my house. Close as brothers? Yeah. Definitely. Mark, you gotta be right down here. They don't fly very far ever. Let's walk to the top of the next ridge. I can't believe we're driving a herd of cattle in front of us to try to sneak up on a bird. Birding is the largest pastime of the boomer generation. There are literally millions of people who go out and watch birds, either a lot or a little. But I've seen a lot of birds in 30 years. I'm somewhere north of 700, uh, which puts me in a fairly small group of people. We, we can't be just standing around like this hoping to get a good look at a bird. Either we got a good look and moved on, or we heard it and moved on. Or we got skunked and moved on. Or we got skunked. 